Good morning. We're going to start with the poem. When I wake in the dark and remember it is the morning, when I must start by myself on the journey, I lie listening to the black hour before dawn. And you are still asleep beside me while around us trees full of night gleam, hushed in their dream that bears us up asleep and awake. And I hear drops falling one by one on the sightless leaves. And I do not know when they began, but all at once there is no sound but rain and the stream below us roaring away into the rushing darkness. That's a poem called Rain Travel by W.S. Marwin. Welcome to the Premier Wellness Travel Meditation Sessions, where I offer guidance and support for us to focus on our breath, to improve our connections to one another, and to together up our vibrations. I'm Cassandra Marcella Metzger. I'm a certified yoga therapist and the founder of Premier Wellness Travel. And I just wanted to share with you on a regular basis this amazing meditation practice that has been so helpful to me in my own life um, during this kind of unusual time that we're all living through. Each weekday at 10 a.m. I will be here in the uh, Facebook group. I will also upload these afterwards to um, YouTube for those who would like to watch at another time. And my goal is to inspire you to feel a sense of possibility for routine and groundedness and kindness and compassion, especially self-compassion. And I'll be offering a few tips and resources, of course, along the way as pertinent to whatever it is that I'm offering a meditation on. If you do enjoy this meditation, I would ask that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're watching on YouTube. And I uh, thank you for tuning in. So this morning, I wanted to linger on that dark hour before dawn. As we wake and become aware of ourselves, we kind of wake up to ourselves. And in the same way, meditation does the same thing. It kind of takes us to that moment before the dawn where we kind of fall into routines and habits unmindfully, allows us to wake up then to our lives in a more deliberate way, more mindful way as, as, or a more awake way. So I wanted to kind of make that connection between that early hour before dawn and meditation. Today here in DC, it's kind of an overcast day, so it um, sort of fits fits that kind of mood. Um, so it's just another aspect or another way of bringing awareness to how we typically move through our days, which is, um, as one of my yoga teachers put it, like the walking dead. You're just, you're not aware of kind of what's going on. You're just sort of stuck in your ruts and in your routines, including of your own thoughts. So not just of what you're doing, but also how you're thinking. So this is just a way of stepping back and giving yourself space to sort of have insight and realizations around that. So go ahead and take a comfortable seat. And I'd like to ask you to close your eyes and we'll get started. With your eyes closed, I want you to focus on that empty space that appears in front of your eyes, behind your eyelids. Become aware of that field before you. And ask yourself, how does it look? Do you see passing dots of color? moving across that field? Is it gray with streaks? 
or are there points of light? Maybe it's just completely black. Now this field before you is the field of your consciousness, of your awareness. It is the background awareness within which all of our experiences, all of our life events, and all of our emotions, all of our thoughts rise and fall. So just allow yourself to be there and be with it, again, without trying to change what you're seeing or feeling. If emotions come up, allow them to be there and linger. Same thing with thoughts. Allow them to arise and just float hanging out there. Without any attachment without any fondling of them or engaging with them. I'm just hanging out with them. Now move your awareness to focus on the space itself, the inner nothingness that you see when you close your eyes. And I hope now that your breath has sort of relaxed, elongated. Smoothed out. Now, when you're ready, have the feeling that you're moving through this field of nothingness. It's not our body, of course, that is moves through and floats through it. It's our consciousness, our awareness. View as attention and as awareness. And allow that awareness to float or sail, swim through this field of nothingness without fear. And just notice what you encounter, if anything. Notice any differing energy fields, energy that's different than the one that you are today embodying, that may rise and fall around you or with you during this float across the field of nothingness. And how do you encounter them? Is there resistance? Is there attraction? Is there engagement? Do any of these other entities have, or energies have more um, power or strength than you feel like you can handle? Can you adopt those energies and embody them with you if helpful? This is just a way of exploring the consciousness of your thoughts and your feelings. This is a field of your inner world. And I want you to understand that this emptiness and this space within you is available to you at any time. All you need to do is remember.
that it's there. And the breath can become a touchstone to remind you. We take a deep breath and we can bring to our situation, to our lives, to emotions, the ability to step back and not be taken on that riptide of emotions off to someplace we don't want to go. And also know that this consciousness within you is the ultimate reality. It's full embodied love. So I just ask that you let your consciousness be that stream below us and let it roar away into the rushing darkness, taking the darkness with it so that as you step into the light of your day, that you can do so in a way that is awake and unafraid. Go ahead and open your eyes. Thank you for meditating with me today. I wish you a very beautiful day, very beautiful Thursday. It's Thursday, May 14th. And uh, yeah, namaste. I honor what's holy in you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow, 10 o'clock, right here.